Hey man, you have a silver portrait and you're only gold ranked. Well, how is that even possible? How bad do you have to be at this game, man? Hey guys, alone here. I've heard this multiple times said in voice chat while ranking up my alt accounts and I just facepalm every single time. So allow me to just quickly talk about how I look at the level system and its correlation to the ranking system in Overwatch and explain how some people are so high level yet so low ranked. So let me start off by saying that yes, there are way more higher level accounts in the higher ranks of the game such as Master and above. The accounts that you see there are usually silver portraits or just below that or really really low level accounts accounts such as level 40 or level 80 which are smurf accounts. If you don't know what a smurf account is it's basically an alternate account of your main account so basically if I would be a silver portrait on my main account I could then make another account and play on that from scratch and that would be my smurf account. And overwatch is a bit different because you do not just need good aim to be able to get to the higher ranks you don't even need aim in some cases you just need game awareness and that's the important thing and it takes a while to gain that game awareness and that's why usually in the higher ranks there are more high level accounts. However, that's for all the players that focus fully on getting good at the game. Trust me, there's a bunch of people that enjoy playing competitive meanwhile not really caring too much about getting the highest ranks of the game. People that prefer the competitive mode as it's generally more organized gameplay but at the same time doesn't feel too invested in it. This for example are the people that play a lot of quick play or just only competitive play, but mostly for the golden guns. I mean, I've heard that all over the place. I'm only playing this for the golden guns, and obviously that is a reason to why they want to remove the golden guns, but can't really do that now, it's a bit late. Or just people who do not want the golden guns, they don't really care, but as I said, they just want a more organized gameplay and prefer the competitive one. Overwatch is one of those games who has a massive casual audience that doesn't really play much more than quick play. They might go into competitive now and then for the reasons, as I stated, golden guns or to some sometimes have a more serious gameplay, but overall quick play doesn't really teach players how to properly play the game. It might teach you if you play long enough how to get good at mechanics of the different heroes that you prefer to play, but an overall understanding of how the game is supposed to be played tactically, overall for game awareness, is not really relevant in quick play. Due to that, some people might have gotten their silver borders from playing only quick play, and as soon as they enter competitive they might miss out on a lot of the things that competitive mode teaches you. So they might have really good knowledge of how to play their heroes from playing a lot of quick play, but if they do not have good game sense, they're going to be stuck at the lower ranks of the game. That's mostly positioning, when to move in, when to use your ultimate, what enemies ultimates are available, what you need to look out for, all that kind of stuff and, you know, combinations of what team you have and what heroes you need to pick at the different times. This is what good game sense is, knowing all these different things. The only thing in my mind that can improve your game sense to a higher tier level is playing in a competitive game mode and having a competitive mind. Trying to get better at the game is the only way to get good at the game. And honestly, most people don't really care about that. Sure, some people would love to be as good as IDQD at the game, but they just don't really want to do that because it takes too much time and they just want to have some fun. So my point of this video is to say, yes, most people at the higher tiers of the game have a higher level border because they've played a lot to get to that point and practiced all the time. And therefore, getting to that point, most people are forced to play that much to be able to get to the same level as those people who are playing at that rank. But if you play the same amount and you don't even care about getting good at the game, you can have as high level of a border as possible, but you just won't get to that rank because you haven't actively tried to get to that point. So being rude to people if they underperform in whatever rank you're at by using the argument that they are a high level so they should be good at the game is so bad, it's putting off player from playing competitive in its entirety because they might be playing mostly quick play and then came into competitive just to try it out and they instantly see toxic people due to it and it's just a bad scenario to be honest. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you agree or disagree with me, then let me know in the comments and I will personally fist fight anyone who has a different opinion than me because that's just how I roll. I don't know when my next video is coming out, but until then, goodbye. See you in the next one.